I don't want to die. I don't know if I could kill anyone if I tried. But I have to try so long as other people have to. Hello again, my friends. I'm happy to bring you another Silver Senior Silver Screen special biography on an old classic Hollywood movie, Friendly Persuasion. But before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Thundering through the Hall of Fame comes one of the great films of all time. This video is dedicated to Betty Jean, who's one of my YouTube channel subscribers and she had commented that this movie was one of her favorites. A motion picture masterpiece. So thank you very much, Betty Jean, and I hope this video does your movie justice. Starring Gary Cooper. And so if you'd like me to do a bio on one of your favorite movies and also have me dedicate a movie in your name that will be mentioned here on my future video, please let me know by commenting below. Dorothy McGuire. I have gotten some other requests to do some other movies and I will be doing them in the order in which I received them. I don't want anyone to think I've forgotten them. It just takes me some time to do research on each movie and then put it all together for you. And Anthony Perkins in the role that made him a star. And just in case some of you haven't seen this movie, please know there will be some spoilers in this video. This is Friendly Persuasion. And please watch this video to the end to see some really cool behind the scenes photos, some that you've probably never seen before. A wonderful motion picture. And I'm also including some interesting facts and trivia too. Sprinkled with laughter and fun. Also, please check out my playlist of preview movies right here on my channel to see other videos I've created of other movies similar to this one. Sparkling with romance. And so without further ado, through the magic of my computer, I've colorized some of the old black and white pictures from some scenes, which I find that you can see more details in than this way. And bursting with happy talk. This movie's considered a drama, family, romance, war, and western. It was released in the USA in 1956, and it stars Gary Cooper. And some of his co-stars were Dorothy McGuire, Anthony Perkins, Richard Eyre, Robert Middleton, Phyllis Love, Peter Mark Richman, Walter Catlett, Richard Hale, Theodore Newton, John Smith, Edna Skinner, Marjorie Main, James Anderson, and others. It was filmed in California, directed by William Wyler. The screenplay was written by Michael Wilson and produced by Allied Artist Pictures. And it was nominated for six Oscars. This movie is about the pacifist attitude of a Quaker family is tested as a result of the American Civil War. And now I've got some juicy trivia tidbits for you. Before Gary Cooper became involved, Montgomery Clift was offered the role of Jess Birdwell, but he turned it down. And Gary Cooper originally did not want to play a father of grown children. This was despite the fact that he was already 55 years old in real life. And ironically, many critics in 1956 felt he looked too old to play Jess Birdwell. He also was strongly against the casting of Dorothy McGuire as he felt that she was a poor actress and that she was not attractive enough to play his wife. He actually wanted Ingrid Bergman to play Eliza Birdwell, but Ms. Bergman turned the part down. And according to her 2004 autobiography, Tis Herself, Maureen O'Hara was cast as Eliza Birdwell and was due to start filming the following day when she happened to mention it to John Ford, 
with whom she had a strained working relationship, referring to him in her book as, and I quote, that mean old son of a bitch, unquote, when visiting his office. Ford apparently then called William Wyler and had her removed from the cast, resulting in the last minute casting of Dorothy McGuire in the role. He also arranged for his daughter to date Anthony Perkins during filming, apparently not realizing the young actor was gay. He had developed a paternal relationship with Anthony Perkins while he was dating Cooper's daughter Maria at the time. He gave the younger actor career advice and spent time working on their scenes together. But then their relationship cooled when Perkins and Maria broke up. Later on, Cooper would say Perkins was callow. And he said, I quote, I think he'd do well to spend a summer on a ranch. It would toughen him up and he'd learn a lot from other kind of people. Unquote. And this was President Ronald Reagan's favorite film. In May of 1988, he presented Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev with a VHS copy of this film. And also, Jasmine West, who was the author of the book Friendly Persuasion, was a Quaker herself and was second cousin to Richard Nixon, who was also a Quaker. Did you know that? Because I did not know that. As a child, she attended Sunday school classes taught by Nixon's father, Frank. What is he supposed to... doing? Silent prayer. like that one we've got a lot more hotter than your morning coffee thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did i would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like comment below share with others subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time i upload a new video please come back to see the next one until then bye for now and be blessed